Terrence, it seemed uh, you really got going tonight, got the team going off to a good start. It was a good start for the team tonight. What helped you find a rhythm so early in the game? Um, I think our defense. Our defense is getting, you know, is starting our jump, starting our offense. So anytime we can get that rhythm on defense, it kind of translates to offense. Yeah, what coach, Kyle said, coach kind of challenged you guys, the starters, to get it going. What what did he say and what, what really struck a nerve with you guys? Um, it basically starts with us that we all go out there, and, you know, kind of set the tone. And, you know, tonight we took it upon ourselves to set a, you know, a better tone. We started in the last few games and, you know, it was just more of a team thing. So, um, you know, the second group came in, they carried the tone, and we just carried that tone throughout the game. I, I asked a couple of the guys, DeMar's been here for five years, Kyle. It, look, you guys knew going into tonight that a win could do, you know, half the business to get you in the playoffs. For you, a second-year player, are you? how much are you looking forward to it, knowing that, hey, it, it looks like it's going to happen in only your second year? Some guys play a long time and don't get in. Um, it's just an opportunity. It's a blessing to be in this spot. It's an opportunity. Now we just had to take the most of our opportunity and, and capitalize on everything we can do to, you know, make sure we get there. Yeah, it's more pressure now or less pressure, the fact that it looks like it's going to happen? I mean, it, it's going to take one loss from somebody else or one more win from you. Um, I mean, of course, it's pressure, but at the same time, we got to focus on us, and we focus on us. Uh, do what we're supposed to do, you know, we'll, we'll get to the playoffs. Yeah, they, have you talked to any of the veteran guys, guys like Novak, some of the guys that have been through it before? How much have you talked to them about it? Um, all the time, especially when we know it's around the corner. So just talking to them and, you know, letting them know, or, you know, them letting us know that, you know, we have a, a bigger opportunity in front of us and we got to take the most of it. So we just got to really go out there and stay focused. Yeah, what, what surprised you most about what they've said when you start talking about it? Just the grind. It's a grind. Um, you're gonna lose some games. You're gonna win a lot. You're gonna win some games, but at the same time, you just gotta make sure you, you know, have that balance and make sure that you don't fall too far off of you know your game plan and, and just make sure you just hang in there. How do you kind of shake the reputation of just being a dunker? Obviously, you did more than dunk tonight. You can shoot from the three. I mean, is that something you notice? Does that upset you when people just look at you as a dunker? Or, I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's more of a people that. I think it's more fans. I think I'm just yeah. a dunker, but you know, on the court, it's it's a lot different. So, you know, I don't bother me. How do you, how's your game expanded this year? I mean, obviously, probably Rudy's departure gave you some more opportunity. But how how have you that sophomore slump? You've avoided that. Um, really, just the amount of opportunities I'm given is. is Led to me having a lot more experience on the court. <laughs> and it makes it a lot easier. You know, I, I've been through some things now and I kind of know what to expect. You know, I can always learn more and I'm still going through that transition to learning. What's it like to play? I mean, obviously, I'll probably get asked what's it like to play in Toronto. I mean, you're not, obviously, half the time you're out of the country. I mean, what's it like and what is the fan base like? Because obviously the All Star Games will be there in a couple of years, but just there's kind of an excitement that's brewing in, in Toronto. No, it's fun. It's uh, most guys just play for the city, but I mean, I, I get the chance to, to represent a whole country. So you know, you having the whole country's back, and it's fun because you have fans from you know west west coast or Canada from all the way to east coast Canada. So it's a bigger fan base.